All right, so you're thinking about moving down to the Lone Star State, and you're thinking, what are some of the top things I need to know before I move down? We just did this a couple of years ago, and everything I found online and YouTube had to do with the best places to live, school zones, crime safety, all those very important. But I'm going to share some things with you that you should really know before you move down. It's going to make your life a lot better. Follow along. Definitely hit the subscribe button in the corner if you're not already subscribed. Hit the like button and please share this video if you find the content interesting. Let's go. The first thing you'll probably notice if you drive down or you fly and then rent a car is the highways. It's insane. The speed limit seems to be a recommendation only. The left lane is the equivalent of Formula One and the right lane is still faster than the speed limit. So if you enjoy driving fast and relatively safely because the police aren't really patrolling every two minutes like on the East Coast, so you can drive safely if you know how to drive at that speed, or that road to the right of you that seems to run parallel to every single highway in Texas is an access road. You can jump on that, go a little slower and still get to where you're going. Maybe adds about 10, 15 minutes, usually when we're trying to head out anyway. All right, on ramps on, in Texas are a thing of beauty. They use what's called the zipper method. One car lets another car in and you continuously move. Traffic slows down only slightly as the car coming off the on ramp accelerates. On the East Coast, they decide to use what is known as the block and stop method. I'm going to block you from getting on the on-ramp because you're not going to get ahead of me, but then we're all going to stop for a half hour. No. Also, don't say you're from California. Everyone here seems to drive a pickup truck. While I'm not against a pickup truck at all, we moved down without one. Within about six months, we bought one. It just seems to feel more comfortable knowing that you have a pickup truck in your driveway. I feel more Texan. Check out my other video and my review of my 2019 Tundra to see what I'm talking about. Texas pride. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've seen another state where everyone rocks the flag or supports Texas in some sort of way. And when I go think about it, I don't remember anyone wearing a Rhode Island hat. So... Definitely rock the flag. We moved out into the suburbs. Definitely a safe area. Kids are outside playing. People don't really lock their doors. Neighborhoods just have good vibes. And a great way to find out how to get back home, you can use Apple Maps and Google Maps and Waze, or you can just look for the water tower. Every city in Texas has multiple water towers with the city name on them. Find out the one that's closest to your neighborhood and wherever you are, just look for it. It's like the bat signal. Now, if you do decide to venture downtown, and I'm talking downtown Dallas because really the areas I'm talking about in this video are considered North Dallas, Plano, Allen, Frisco, McKinney, Prosper. Those are the cities that really I'm referring to, and most of them are about 30 to 45 minutes from Dallas. Remember, if you do decide to venture downtown to Dallas, it's not a real city. It's got businesses, it's got two streets, restaurants and bars, but it's not really a destination city where you take people that come in to visit you. It's not like a Toronto or a New York or a Boston. It's more like a DC, I would say. Things to do, not really that interesting, not really that safe. Also, don't mention you're from California. When you do move into Texas, there's two things and two places you should definitely know about. If you're looking for furniture, Definitely the place to go is Nebraska Furniture Mart. I don't know why it's named that because we're definitely not in Nebraska. Maybe because Nebraska is such a large state. It's flat and it takes up a lot of space. That could correlate to what Nebraska Furniture Mart is. It's Ikea times 48. It's massive, has furniture and electronics for every room in your house. And it's a destination. You'll probably want to go there over the course of a couple of days if you're looking for furniture. And the bad thing is if you're not looking for furniture and you end up there, you're going to buy furniture. Trust me, we did. The second place is HEB. You thought you'd been to a big grocery store wherever you live, and I'm sure you have big ones. Welcome to Texas, where everything legit is bigger. And HEB is massive. 
on the weekends. You won't find parking, but somehow you'll end up inside. And there's anything and everything you could ever imagine in terms of grocery inside this store. It's insane. And when you buy things at this store, you'll enjoy them. You'll never find them again because the place is entirely too big. This has just been a quick video of some of the things I wanted to highlight for things you should know before you move to Texas. I'll start covering more things like cuisine, the weather, get to know hail. Hail's a big thing down in Texas and it destroys your house and your cars, but you'll have insurance for it. You have to when you live in Texas. Um, we'll cover other things, but again, I hope this video helped. If you have any questions or anything, put them in the comment section down below. I answer every question and more than happy to help if you're thinking about moving down. We love it here and uh, definitely connect with this channel to, to see more. Thanks for watching.